Dying Light is a game that is well received by fans of the franchise and open world gamers alike. However, the launch of Dying Light 2 was plagued with problems and this led to massive disappointment. Despite this, the developers have been working hard to make things right and their efforts have not gone unnoticed. The latest expansion coming to Dying Light 2 at the end of this year is set to be a game changer and it has been built on these four traditional core pillars, a new region, open world format, narrative driven, and a focus on the infected. Yo, what's good? You already know I'm Ken Wall and although Dying Light 2 was my most disappointing game last year, you could still count me in for another experience with it. I gave it that title because it was the sequel and it was supposed to be better in some ways it is but it mostly misses the mark especially when it comes to that launch because of this this has now put techland in the comeback tour today you will find out everything to expect from dying light 2 this year before we begin allow me to give you a friendly reminder to like this video and if you end up enjoying it here at my channel know that i keep you up to date with the latest open world game news like dying light superhero games and video essays where i go deeper into other gaming topics other links in the description box below Thanks, crew. Somebody gotta take this man's phone away because this dude's Twitter fingers be going crazy. The lead game designer has been actively engaging with fans on Twitter, asking for feedback and suggestions on what they would like to see in the expansion. This has given me and fans a sense of hope and has increased confidence in the future of the franchise. The developers have taken this feedback to heart and they're working hard to deliver an expansion that meets the expectations of the fan. According to the developers, the DLC will come with a new location, a larger and more story-driven world, and a focus on the infected. This is exactly what fans have been asking for, and in my opinion, this is definitely a step in the right direction to rebuilding this game. The developers are also looking to address some of the shortcomings involved with the base game, such as the lack of horror and tension involved at nighttime. The nighttime in Dying Light 2, let's be honest, it felt like a PG-13 horror movie. To fix this, they're going to be bringing back roaming volatiles to bring back that sense of danger and suspense to the game. While they won't act exactly how they did in the first game, they will still put up a challenge. Unclear if these changes are going to be happening before the expansion or they're going to be coming with the expansion. The parkour system is another area that the developers are looking to improve. The current parkour system is one the best in the industry but the developers feel that they lost some of the grounded elements that was present in the first game sadly this is the end of all the details we got for now i'm not gonna make a prediction yet on whether i think this game will make a comeback or it'll fail none of that because we don't have enough details yet but I am a little more confident. In conclusion, the upcoming expansion coming to Dying Light 2 is a promising development for fans of the franchise with a new location, a larger and more story driven world, a focus on the infected and changes coming to the nighttime and parkour systems. This expansion is set to be a game changer. The developers have listened and have taken this feedback to heart, and this is a positive sign for the future of this franchise. The expansion is set to arrive later this year, and I can't wait to see what the developers have in store for us. You already know I'm Ken Wall. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.